A legal battle over a gender transition cake has reached a verdict from Colorado's second highest court. A three-judge panel from the Court of Appeals ruled that Masterpiece Cake Shop violated the state's Anti-Discrimination Act when its owner, Jack Phillips, refused to bake a pink and blue cake for attorney Autumn Scardina. Scardina told us the judges made a clear and concise ruling. Uh, pleased and, and relieved. Um, it's always nerve wracking, uh, but I'm, I'm very pleased with the court's decision. Uh, it clearly upheld uh, all people's rights to access public goods and services. And joining us now to talk about this ruling, our legal expert, Whitney Trailer. So uh, we've been down this road before with yes. this very bakery. So what does this one mean? Well, and we're going to continue down this road. There's, there's so many hypotheticals, if you will. So in 2018, the uh, Supreme Court ruled in the baker's favor, right. but they kind of punted on the rationale. So the issue remains out there. And the issue really comes down to some people paint it as equality versus liberty. Because if your equality is saying, look, you can't discriminate against me based on my race, religion, sexual orientation, things like that but that's going to necessarily inhibit on someone's liberty, saying, I want to discriminate against certain people. I just don't want to serve them or hire them. So the state is essentially telling them what to do. And so here, the issue was that the, they were saying, this is part of my religious expression. This is a message I disagree with. And so to make a cake, the 2018 case, with a gay couple, that probably would be speech. But here they said a cake that's pink on the inside and blue on the outside is not protected speech. Which makes it sound like we're talking about cakes, and we're not really. And and no, this is, yeah. this is a, it seems like there's a fight wanted to be had, and they've chosen cakes as the, the, the field with mm -hmm. which they're going to fight, but it's mm -hmm. really about, about different things. And yes. there are outside agencies at work here. There's a lot of pressure from two sides of a political issue here to drive it, so you expect it to be driven for a while. You do, and, and there's also an underlying issue, though, because on the religious freedom, there's still this issue of, are you an artist? And so that was, that's been a whole discussion in the Supreme Court and otherwise because they said this is an artistic expression. So you as a state can't compel me to say something that I disagree with. And the question is, and this came up in another case with the Supreme Court, and they said, well, is the person who brings the chairs to the wedding, are they an artist? And if that's the case, right, you can open the door to anybody saying, hey, an interracial couple offends my religious belief, a Muslim couple. and I'm an artist, and they could say that about, you know, and the point is, this is public accommodation. These are businesses that say, I'm open to the public. And if you're going to put these um, parameters on that, that, then the point is, that's discriminatory. And the question is, well, you know, should someone, is, are you endorsing their conduct by making a cake, you know, uh, with, with a same-sex couple, for example. So it's going to be defining what that means as this goes on, probably to the next level, to the Supreme Court again. Yes. And, you know, different language and different discussion. That's exactly right. And there's also the other case involving the website designer, the Colorado right. website designer, that did go to the U.S. Supreme Court, and everybody's expecting the U.S. Supreme Court to rule in favor of her and saying that she doesn't have to make websites for same-sex couples, and that because of this conservative Supreme Court. And that will open so many other doors to starting to curb back some of these rights is the concern of many, including myself. Now, it's very interesting to see different courts mm -hmm. rule in different ways. Lower courts, the appellate court, right. our state's Supreme Court, and then the U.S. Supreme Court, and still coming at times with different rulings. So it, it shows you how on the bubble some of this stuff is for, for people and, and, and how they how they assess these things. Uh, I imagine we'll be talking about this again with you, Whitney. Yeah. We appreciate you coming in Probably today. Probably in June. After that ruling. <laughs> okay. Good to see you. Thanks. Yep, thanks.